happening 40 years ago, it would have been all the much harder in that sense. So just to reach out to people, make sure they know you remember them, get on the computer, assuming you have one, let people see your face, see their face. We take the connections that we can have, even though we can't have the ideal ones that we'd like to have. And Rabbi, you know, as a people on the planet Earth, we've overcome a lot of things. And I think it's a good reminder to realize that just the resil resilience in all of us. Speak to that a little bit. Well, one of the things that I think is always important to remember is that no matter how difficult the moment we find ourselves in, and let's be honest, we find ourselves in a very difficult moment, we still have the capacity to reach out and to show love to one another, and through that to gain strength for ourselves as well. You know, one of the most, I think, radical things that both Judaism and Christianity teach is that we can learn love from our suffering. This is a period of great suffering, and it is also an opportunity for immense compassion and human connection. And we have to hold on to the compassion and connection, both for the people who need it most and for the giver, for the giver as well as the receiver. Bishop, as a person of faith myself, I, I often remind myself that God can handle our faith and handle our doubt, and that um, you know it, it's so important to be honest in your prayers. And you know, I think a lot of people might find it overwhelming to pray right now. I know I do. Sometimes I don't even I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, and and I wonder if you have any advice about that, about how we can, you know, try to process our grief and our fears and our anxieties with our faith. You know, there is actual virtue in being honest with God. <laughs> and being honest with God means telling God what's on your heart. Just putting it out there. The, the, the Psalms and the Hebrew scriptures are Psalms and prayers and people tell God when they're upset with God and when they're upset about life. And there is something potentially cathartic just in that. God can handle that. The other thing that I'm aware of is that this April and May, we are actually in a time when um, a Holy Week Easter, Passover, and then Ramadan, three great religious holy periods are happening. And maybe we just need to tap into the traditions of our faith, those traditions as best we can do it. And sometimes the tradition can speak when we don't have the words. Bishop Curry, do you have a, a, you know, there are a lot of faiths around the world. Do you have a prayer for, for the world in this moment? God, love us, help us, walk with us, and help us love each other, and we'll find our way. Bishop what about you, Rabbi? My prayer in this moment, I think, is very similar to the bishop's, which is um, heal us, help us heal those in need of healing and help us support those who are bringing healing to others. This is a moment for such profound appreciation for medical professionals, people on the front lines. May God protect each and every one of them and bless them. Beautiful. Rabbi Held and Bishop Curry, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts on this Friday. Thank you. Oh, man. God bless you. Thank you so much. And coming up next,